Chief Chief King Louis, this is Shy, right? Right? Yeah. You already know we like to go from the the show. This is Groundbreaking Beautiful Productions. You're now rocking with us, the voice of the Carolinas. I go by the name of Chinaka the Fly Jerry. You already know what it is, man. We do this thing right here. I'm rocking with my man. One of Shy Town's greatest, King Louis. What up, what up? How you doing, bro? Huh? I'm chilling, I'm chilling, man. Yo, what in the hell is Tox? Nah. It's thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah, thoughts. No, uh, those are females. It's thoughts. Okay. Now you come out of the east side of Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to out west, too. I was actually born out west and migrated to the east. So shout out out west, but I'm, I'm an east side rapper. So now I know I'm coming up and everything. I know there's a lot of kids that be doing a lot of things, but like I know you've been like a motivational type of thing. Yep, and yep. you know, even drop, you know, being kicked out of school, so say, yeah, and yeah, going yeah. out and getting your diploma. How important is that? to you and how you transferring it to the younger ones? Um, with the uh, getting kicked out of school, that that's because I like I ain't even like a lot of stuff I do now, I put it on hold and didn't really do it till I got my diploma. I said I wasn't gonna do like I ain't even smoked before I got a high school diploma and shit. And now I I'm I love weed, you feel me? But like it's a lot of like I want once I got my diploma it was like then I can enjoy like and be like enjoy life and shit. So I made him. So make sure you get your diploma. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't have felt right if I ain't get my diploma. And I made sure, like when I got kicked out, because I got kicked out of all Chicago public schools. I made sure I went to an alternative school that I can get a diploma. You know what I'm saying? That was like that I could use at all colleges, just in case I did want to do the school shit. So education is big, and I'm big on education because I hate stupidity. So, uh, man, what would you like to be remembered as, as an artist? What would you like? What would you like for people to remember you as? Uh. A motivational speaker. I want to just like be motivated. Like I want to let um, motivate people. Like whatever your craft is. Like, cause I look at this shit as a, as an art. So I'm saying I just want to be like looked at as like people can look back. Like, yeah, that that nigga motivated me. You know what I'm saying? That's all. And, and get some money for my daughter. So what's been the biggest change with you since the drop of ball shit and like now? Um, my following is more. I have a broader audience. There's more people, you know, what I'm saying, to listen to my music, you know. And um, um, now it's like the, the hard work starting to pay off, so I'm getting a little change from it, you know what I'm saying? So, first a businessman. Yeah. So like, do you actually go on stage and do the Val Venus dance and all of that? Man? <laughs> I do the Val Venus when I'm at the strip clubs. I don't really like get into that. I ain't really with the dance. I just be in my glory. It's just a, that's like the Val Venus, like a, a, a player dance. It ain't one of them. Uh, some dancing ass dance, it's just some player shit. I be doing it when I'm in the club though, when I'm in the uh, strip club. Shout out to the fact. Oh yeah, Lawless Records, right? Lawless Inc. Lawless Inc. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Shout out to my big homie Larry Ross. Okay, so who else is on the Lawless joint? With you? Um, Katie. We got Katie got bands. Um, and Bird. All right. Me, Katie, and Bird. Shout out my homie Fast Mac. Now you say that uh, you would like to be remembered as an entertainer rather than a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be no, uh, no rapper. I'm gonna entertain, I entertain people. I make people, I make people happy. How do you describe your music? Uh, uplifting. Uplifting. No matter like, like, no matter what crowd you is, it's like you. When I mean, you hear my music, it, it makes you, you know what I'm saying, uplift you. It make you know what I'm saying, it get, it get you, get you going. So tell me a little bit more about this Google movement, you know what I'm saying? I know it's been all around Chicago, but like it's, it's starting to, you know what I'm saying, create a buzz around here too. And I want you to just touch a little bit on the Moogle movement. Oh, uh, Moogle, that's like something I like back when I was hustling. I was, you know what I'm saying, before the rap. I was hustling, you know what I'm saying? I, I learned like if you be a if you be a man about every situation, you know what I'm saying, you get your money, you know what I'm saying, you get your money better. So I just say be a man about every situation to get your money, man up being a mobile, you know what I'm saying? Yo, right. so free bump J. Yeah, you know free the big homie bump. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Everybody that's incarcerated. Yup, yup. So uh, how they join go? Chief Chief King Louis, this is shy, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. It felt good, man. You know what I'm saying? It feel good. Let you know, like, shit, like, I'm not doing it for nothing. This is a lot of people that's, that's doing it that ain't get a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Like, salute to them, too. Not saying they ain't making no noise or nothing, but it's just, like, let, let me know that I'm making a lot of noise to get recognized by him. You know what I'm saying? This this man that did with Jay-Z, you, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it, just, it just feel good. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean... With all the shout out and everything, what were your reactions by what Chief Keith said about Kanye, about his, you know, statement? 
I mean, like, I don't feel no type of way. I mean, kid can say what he got the right to say whatever he want to say and feel however he want to feel. Shit, if he feel like he was buzzing before that, then he was. You know what I'm saying? Not to take, not to take away from nobody. You know, what I'm saying? I appreciate it. But, but, but that's a, he a fool of man before he anything. Shout out my homo Sosi. Homo Sosa, man, that's my dude. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Sosa. So, where, where would you want to take your music though? Say what? Where bro? would you want to take your music? Where I want to take my yeah, music? Yeah, like the overseas. Buddy. Okay. Get that overseas bag. Fan, fan base. You know what I'm saying? Get that love. I like how they be all them people at the out them shows. I like to see that. I want to perform for a big crowd. So right, right. That's my move. So, what, what's like life on the road been like for you? It's cool. It's, I be getting sick on the road a lot, but it's fun though. Uh, all in all, it's fun experience, uh, great experience. But I be getting sick as hell. I feel that. It's, it's different foods, and then being on the bus, I was just on the bus for like 16 hours. Wow. I felt like I was seasick. Wow. Hey. And uh, airplanes, how your ears and shit popping. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool though, I like it, I love it. Y'all make sure y'all follow Groundbreaking on Twitter and y'all follow this man on Twitter, but my man. King L going, at, at King L on Twitter. He been going ham on that Twitter joint too, but yeah. how, how's the whole media thing, you know what I'm saying, how you utilizing it for your music? How's that? That's what I'm saying, like you gotta learn how to use, use all that to your best ability, you know what I'm saying? I, I entertain people on Twitter. People get on Twitter and see my tweets, and the motherfucker might be mad and they'll be happy, laugh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm an entertainer, so it's just like, Shout out, shout out to all my own followers. And if you ain't my follower and you want to be part of that, shout out. Go follow me on King, at King Gale on, on Twitter, man. And um, follow my Instagram, King Louis 1987. That's real. That's real. So like now, the movement right now, you know what I'm saying, what we here for, what projects do you, are you working on right now? What are you focusing on right now? Well, I'm focusing on Val Venus. Val Venus. The uh, ladies. Hello, ladies. The, uh, the single, go cop that now on iTunes. You know what I'm saying? And you can go download King Louis Showtime. You know what I'm saying? Hot bangers, nothing, nothing but bangers. Hot bangers. You know what I'm saying? From beginning to end. Let's go support. I mean, you know one thing though, man. I say you're a true motivation because my man, you done been through a whole lot of things, man. I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. The accident in 06, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How did that happen, man? Man, Joe. I don't, that, I don't know. Thank God. Thank Amen. God, man. Amen to the man for this glory. Yes. And that's real. That's real talk right there. So, um, now the motion picture. Yeah, yeah. Who, um, who, who, um, who hosted that joint right there? Motion picture, that was just, that wasn't even, they didn't even have no host. I just um, threw that out, you know what I'm saying? Because I hadn't put out a mixtape in a while, so I did a lot of collabs. So majority of the collabs I did, I threw on one mixtape, um, and then I just did some unreleased shit and put that out. But that's why I came out with the Showtime, because this is a mixtape that I actually worked on. Right. Like, I did all my other mixtapes, the Bullshits, the uh, Chirac, Driller, Noy, everything, you know what I'm saying? The Man Up, Band Up, all the mixtapes, a dedicated mixtape. Like I, you know what I'm saying? So I really worked on that mixtape before all those songs were made for that mixtape. You know it's real, man. But like, who are some of the people that you would like to work with that you had to have a bass on with? I want to work with Ross. And, um, the rest of the um, MMG camp. Shout out my homie Rocky Fresh. We already working with Rocky Fresh. Bro. Um, YMCMB. I want to work with them. You know what I'm saying? Do something with Baby. We, you know. Uh, Chris Brown, um, The Weeknd, just to name a few. All right, man, like you really tearing up the airways, man. And we had, we had that Kush from Strong. Oh yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, free, free, Ob free Obama, free Barack, free B Smooth, man. Shout out my homie Plot. Shout out my brother Bobby Drake. Yeah, we was on the radio with the uh, Turn Up or Turn Up Thursdays, and we were playing that Kush from Strong, and we had people calling in like, Yo, who's that? That, man. Yeah, so um, people don't know that's my brother Boss Wu on the uh, on the uh, feature too, on right. that whip. That's Boss Wu. Y'all go check him out too. So where you going from right here? We um, where we going tonight? Uh, what's tonight? Yeah, tonight. Yeah, tonight. We're rocking that tonight. I know y'all gonna tear it down. Club 935. Club 935. They say it's gonna be a real drill. So uh, hello ladies, come come rock with the guy later on tonight, man. Do it, hey. do it, do it. Groundbreaking might be in there doing the Val Venus too, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Hey, respect, my man. King Louis L. Huh? How you do that? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Rocking with groundbreaking. We are the voice of the Carolinas, and we appreciate you coming here, man. Nothing appreciate more you guys respect. for having me, man. Look, salute. Yeah, man. Yup, yup. Respect, yep. my dude. Appreciate you, man. Yup, yup, yup.